are welcome. And I hope the journey wasn't too stressful. Ah, it was. Dave, your aunt is here. Hi, Dave. How are you, boy? Hi. I missed you too. You're so you welcome. Thank you. We are happy to have you. Yeah, I'm also happy to be here today. Yes. You ah, should I'm just so tired. enjoy yourselves. Let me go and prepare lunch. Very important, ma. <laughs> Let me carry your bags. So how have you been? Fine. What have I been missing? So much. Tell me one. Just tell me one. I want to hear. Um, we had lunch yesterday. Ah. We went to the cinema. Okay. And we had some. So what movie did you see? I want to be fat. Ah, it's okay. I want him to eat very well. You see, and gain some more flesh. No matter how much quantity of food I put for him, he eats and look at the way he's looking. So let him eat and eat and you know, look like a jebo. Abby? Yes. You know, I've been watching you since I came in. The way you're feeding this boy is no good. What is wrong with You're overfeeding him. Overfeeding? Yes. I don't think so. I don't think so. See, look at my boy now. You know he's my only son. Yes. Look at how slim he is. I want him to eat very well so that he can add some flesh and look like all these uh, Ajebon children. But I feeling is not good. Mm -hmm. It's not good at all. It leads to heart diseases. Yes, high cholesterol. It's For a small good. boy? Yes, it's not good. It causes sleep apnea. <laughs> yeah, and some other stomach problems. It's not good for him. I thought that's just associated with uh, the adults. No. It's I never knew. Thank you so much for this information. Yes, please. Thank you. You're welcome. So we are going to start now. Dave, I think you've had enough, eh? But I want some more. Oh. Dave, please, it's good for you. Mm -hmm. Stop eating so much. I think you need some advice. All right. Yes. Yeah. It's okay. So you're good for this one. Thank you, ma. Thank you so much. I'm you're grateful welcome. for this information. Even this cook, it's okay. Hmm? It's okay. I'll and keep this for another day. Eh. Let's keep it from that time. Hmm? Thank you. Enough, please. I like you the way you are. Hmm? Okay. Mm -hmm. Let Let's me see. drop this in the kitchen. Dave, you can wash your hands now. Alright. Oh. 
overeating is eating more calories than the body uses for energy. Sometimes people overeat for emotional or psychological reasons such as boredom, sadness, anxiety, depression or stress. Overeating can lead to a host of health problems like heart disease, high blood pressure and high cholesterol. Overeating is closely linked with excess body fat and obesity. This is as a result of the body having calories in surplus. Overeating can also disrupt hunger regulation by overriding the hormones that controls hunger and fullness, making it difficult for the body to determine when it needs food. Overeating can also promote obesity and insulin resistance, two major risk factors for metabolic syndrome, a condition that causes stroke, high blood pressure, and heart disease. Overeating also causes bloating. It causes nausea and indigestion. This is as a result of large volumes of food entering into the stomach. Here is what happens to your child when he overeats. When your child overeats, his stomach expands beyond the normal size and adjusts to the large amount of food. The expanded stomach pushes against other organs of the body, leaving your child uncomfortable. This discomfort could take the form of feeling sleepy or tired. It also requires that your child's organs work harder to produce extra hormones and extra enzymes to break down this food. To break down this food, the body produces hydrochloric acid. So when your child overeats, this acid backs up into the esophagus, resulting in heart burns. When your child overeats, his stomach produces gas, leaving your child with uncomfortable food feeling. Never encourage your children to overeat. It is not good for their health. Overeating, especially unhealthy food, can take its toll on your child's digestive health. Digestive enzymes are only available in limited quantity. So the larger the amount of food your child eats, the longer it will take for your child to digest that food. To help your children overcome overeating, here are three simple steps for you to take. Step number one, exchange larger plates for smaller ones. This will help them eat less. Step number two, encourage your children to eat slowly so the brain can get the message when they are full. Step number three, ensure your children eat at the same time every day. Remember, healthy kids learn better. If you find this video useful, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like and share with families and friends. Also do well to click on the notification button so you'll be the first person to know whenever we post new content. Don't forget to leave a comment on the comment section.